Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing just a short video, kind of fun little thing here using sound beeps. Uh, sound beep will play over your system speakers. If you don't have anything hooked up, it'll play over the internal speaker that's used for basically just doing beeps. And maybe, like, you know, it could just be fun or at your job. Maybe you want a way to hear something happening. You know, notify you that something's completed or an error has popped up. You don't have speakers. This is a fun little way to kind of add. Sure, you could just do three beeps. That's boring. We're spicing it up today. So we're going to be using RTTTL files, which were originally, I believe, used for the Nokia phones back in the day. And they were just like little ringtones. That all they did was beep. And so this website, I'll link in the description below. It got over 10,000 tunes for you to download so there is a insane amount of stuff that you can grab once again link that in the description below we are going to be using this what is called the beep maker i'll also link the description of where i got this code from shout out to the guy who made it i forget his username but this uh was a really cool script that i came about when i was trying to figure out how to do this myself so there's no point in me coding this if somebody else has already done it don't reinvent the wheel, but I'm not going to go too deep into this script. You know, it works, and it's, you know, 300 lines of code, so not really for this video. Um, but yeah, so when you download, you will get a zip file. Just go ahead and extract it. I've already done that. And as you can see, this one single file has a lot. And there's a, almost 500 songs just in this one file, and I think this is like the smallest one there is, too. So... You should, you should have plenty of songs to find and play with. So let's find one. We're going to go with Batman. Definitely that sounds good. We're going to open it. It's just going to open as a text file in Notepad or whatever. It doesn't really matter. We're going to highlight, copy it, click the board. Go ahead and close that. Close that. Now we're going to run the Beat Maker. And it's automatically going to pull up the GUI, which... If you want, you can always add a hotkey very easily. You know, if you want it to be F1, that's fine. But we're just going to copy and paste that data that we got. And these are just kind of like the notes to the song and the title. And we're going to push OK. Give it like one second. And there it is. Now, it's always going to be called Ringtone. Um, I'm just going to rename it Batman Song. And hopefully this picks up pretty well on the mic. I'm going to go ahead and play that now. So yeah, here, let's play um, one, two more. Where did they go? Ah, here we are. So I'm gonna run this one. This one I have hotkeys assigned to, and I have multiple songs in here. So the first one is The Simpsons. And we got Monkey Island. just showed the last one here, Mission Impossible. That one was a lot faster, but that one sounded really good. But yeah, you can obviously run, you know, files with music in them from auto hotkeys but this is a good way if you want to add like some fun music with a standalone script versus having to have it run a second file somewhere so this was just more fun um also just want to throw out there that i am going to start getting into a lot more advanced stuff i still have some you know basic stuff but i've covered almost all of it i feel like so we're going to start getting into a lot more advanced stuff uh, we're also going to start talking about hardware a little bit more, and there's this course called um, CompTIA A+ certification, which is one of the biggest standards for getting IT certified. We're going to do some videos on that where it will teach you anything from, you know, what are all the different ports on a computer, what's all inside of a computer, and how does it connect together, and even other stuff like with software, how to update your uh, drivers, you know, 
problem solving, that kind of stuff. So those ones will definitely be a lot longer videos. Those are coming out soon, at least some of them. The book is like a thousand pages, so it's probably going to be a lot of videos. I don't want to go over more than 30 minutes and kind of break everything up into segments. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions about this, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.